Into the back straight for the first time, Hutchins of Canada leads from Marshall, New Zealand, Air of England, Parnell, Canada. Air sets a terrific pace for the wet track, but Parnell and Marshall are hanging on. Parnell is moving up again, and as they approach the end of lap three, it's Air leading from Parnell and Marshall. Less than a lap to go, and Air has increased his lead. Parnell passes Marshall to go into second place and set sail after air with 150 yards to go. In one of the outstanding performances of the games, Parnell gives Canada her first track victory and the time on a waterlogged ground, 4 minutes 11 seconds, a new Empire Games record. I flung myself past him, not really knowing whether I would have sufficient strength to keep up the speed or indeed reach the tape, but luckily I managed it.
tremendous fight for third place. And Brendan Foster just beat Peter Stewart. for Tanzania. Chicho closing with every stride and chasing his third goal. And the untapped talent of Walker now coming through with Dixon. The black shadows together. Chicho is beaten. And will they get by? 80 metres left. And it's Walker chasing by. But by won't be caught. By he's got to win it. And it looks as if it's very close to the world record. By wins. Walker next. Chicho next. Dixon next. And the world UK athletes in the first five and still Wagwar is sitting back in sixth place more clubs on the outside for England Robson for Scotland by Tanzania and it's Dave more clubs on the near side more clubs for England will he get the goal medal yes is the answer by second Robson third Clement fourth Boyd still leading, Cram of England second, then the two Australians. Called by Grilfrist and he goes up fifth. Boyd having a tremendous battle in front, but it's Cram and Hill, Hard and Walker. Boyd still leading as they hit 200. Cram in second place. Walker third, Illhard fourth. What can Cram do? He's off the curve. He's in the attacking position. Walker trying to go through on the inside. There's no room there. That was ridiculous. Steve Cram on the outside, battling with Boyd. And it's Cram away and clear. Cram coming home to take the goal. We all hope for England. Walker in second place. Point. Clear of trouble on Martin Schilder, the right place to be. Also getting out of trouble is Rob Harrison. Cram still waits in the back. Still keeping clear of everyone and comes very wide down the finishing straight and John Gladwin has gone. Now has he caught Cram? He's got an awful lot to do now. He's about 12 metres clear for a bit of Cram. At least 12, perhaps 15. And Cram was caught asleep. Gladwin with just over 300 to go and Cram now has got to work very, very hard indeed. But look at him go. The challenge is there but he's having to work desperately hard to catch the other Englishman, but John Gladwin finding that win, so punishing, you can see him almost leading back. The strike shortening, and the champion is back in the race, and surely going to win the title once more. Steve Cram comes right from the back, but Gladwin hanging on in second place. England 1 and 2, and Campbell of Canada in third place at the moment, and Steve Cram high steps his way, to get another gold medal and successfully defend the Commonwealth title. John Gladwin takes the silver. Campbell the surprise bronze. Rob Harrison fourth. <laughs> He's not giving way. And Peter Elliott starts to come away now. He's got three metres to spare. And Elliott being warned home by the crowd. Karachi's trying to respond, but Elliott is going to take the gold medal for England. A brilliant run. Elliott wins. Karachi second. O'Donoghue of New Zealand third. Doyle Australia fourth. Morrell of England wide.